All right, guys, we are here today to uh, get an early box opening of Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. Um, I'm here with Dane from the Battle Bunker, and these cards are uh, belong to the shop stock. Yes. So when release date uh, hits, they will be available for you guys to order. You can pre-order them um, through through, uh, me, through Dane. Facebook Battle yep. Bunker Cavendish. Just message Dane. Hook you up. And you'll hook you up with a card. So we're going to see what kind of pull rates we get out of the box. This is a full sealed brand new box. Um, and we will see what we get. So we've got 36 packs of cards. And we'll go through them. And then as we can hit specific cards, we will talk about what they are and what's playable. This is the first of the Ultra Beasts sets. So we've got a couple of um, cool new cards to look at in the set and uh, I think in terms of pulls there's also a couple of good uh, hyper rares, secret rares, um, so we've got some cool golden cards we can get and we will go through this six packs at a time. So we'll just go through them in order, I'm not going to take them out of order so we can see whether there's any kind of concept or like pack mapping or anything like that and we'll just jump straight into it. When so, you say beasts, in what Term is that obviously I've been out of Pokemon for a while. Explain that a little bit. More. So, so um, the Ultra Beasts are a new uh, mechanic. It doesn't seem to have that much different. Um, they're GX type cards, and they have. Uh, you'll see them. They've got like a red GX uh, under the uh, under the Pokemon's name. Okay. Uh, as far as I know, they're all basics. They are pretty heavy in terms of HP. They have pretty decent attacks. And uh, they have some pretty cool GX attacks uh, where, for example, they can interact with your prize cards so they can force your opponent to have to take the top two cards of their deck, put them face down as prize cards. So that moves them from six prizes to eight prizes, as Which, an example. Yeah, big difference. Yeah. Um, so they, they're, they just have a different way of uh, engaging with your opponent, okay. which is kind of the new mechanic that they've introduced. Very interesting. All right. So this is still one of those sets that has the energy cards. So... When we do the the famous pack trick, we take the energy out, and we will jump straight into looking at the packs. So hopefully the camera angle is good. Uh, we have a Magikarp, a Remoraid, a Mankey, a Jangmo'o, Carablast, which has the shell on ability. Once during your turn, you may just got a shell from your hand. If you do search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon, so you can use that to find the Excavalier. It seems to be a lot prominent in this current set to just go get others. Go get extra cards, yeah. yeah that's that's become quite a popular thing. Um, you'll see it with Sylveon as well and Sun and Moon. So there's a lot of get cards out of your deck. Same with um, the Shining Mew from Shining Legends also lets you do that. So it seems to be kind of a theme. Mm -hmm. We have Devoured Field. This is an interesting um, stadium. Basically the attacks of your Dark and Dragon Pokemon do 10 more damage. So we had a stadium that, that boosted the damage output of your dark type Pokemon, but then it, it also brought it down if you were attacking against metal type, and that was reverse value. This is probably a better alternative to that in dark decks. We have a Zuelius Miltank, quite a cool card, especially I think in the pre-release. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 90 damage from that Pokemon. Big difference. So the idea here is you get a float stone on this guy, you can Guzma out your opponent's Pokemon to bring Miltank active, attach an energy to heal up. If you're playing Gardevoir GX, you can Secret Spring to act in, to attach another energy from your hand, Yes. because uh, it is from your hand, and you can actually effectively heal 180 damage in a single turn, which is Amazing. crazy. Um, so maybe it'll see some play in Gardevoir. We have a Stuffle and a Primate for our rare. So nothing too amazing in pack number one. So you're uh, hoping for five or six GXs here? Uh, yeah, well, that's probably that's probably what we should be looking for. Yes. I think hopefully eight, um, but you never know. Uh, so we'll see what kind of rates we get. But on the you pack. are opening the packs, so yeah, I have <laughs> historically bad luck. Um, we have Dino, so we're seeing the uh, Hydreigon coming back as an as a um, Pokemon. Um, it's had a lot of really good cards in the past. Uh, some pretty cool. I think it was Dark Aurora and a couple of other cool abilities. I used to play it, so quite happy to see that come back. Alolan Geodude, another Alolan Pokemon with an energyless attack. This is also a theme that we're seeing in the Alolan series. 
is energyless attacks. We have Remoraid, Aaron, Staryu, Haunter. This was one of the cards in pre-release that was the Gengar, which was kind of annoying and let you stack damage on your opponent's side of the field. I can definitely see this being used in spread damage decks, uh, especially if you can get the Gengar up and maybe if you're using it with um, the Shining Celebi. Yeah. You'd be able to use the, this attack even though Gengar is in play, which is pretty cool. And Gengar having free retreat and a dark type weakness as opposed to psychic type is pretty good. Another Devoured Field, the Zoelius, and we get a Miss Magius as our um, reverse, and we get a Gyarados GX Full Art as our first Hyper Rare. You'll we'll take it. Pretty cool. So we'll pop that over here for now. Yeah, and if you want it, message us. That's it, our first GX pull. Uh, just to talk about the Gyarados while I open this pack. Um, not one of the best GXs in the set, but maybe someone will come up with a creative way of making it work. Three energy for 70, doesn't seem good. Uh, five energy for 100 plus, if there's a stadium card in play, it does 100 more, so you're doing 200, and then you discard that stadium. Unfortunately, with a lot of the big, beefy GXs being 210 and higher, yeah. it's not really doing anything too amazing. And then uh, for one water energy, you do Dreadstorm GX, discard an energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon, so across the field. So there might be a way to make it work, but, you know. Maybe more the controlling factor, but it's still it's a G one GX. It's a GX attack. So it's one source. Yeah, so you've used your GX and all you've done is theoretically discard it. If they haven't spread energy around the field, yeah. you haven't really done very much. Corfish, Ghastly, Aaron, Dino, Staryu, Dashing Pouch. Uh, this was a card a lot of people in the pre-release confused. It's not when the Pokemon gets knocked out that the energy returns to your hand. It's when you retreat it instead of discarding the energy, that energy comes back into your hand. Which is very useful. Can be useful. We have Psychic Memory. This goes to Silvalli. So Silvalli GX is a colorless Pokemon. When you attach this tool, it changes its typing. It's making it a Psychic typing. So with its attack, I think it does 110, if I remember correctly. So you're doing uh, 220, uh, or could be 120. So, interesting numbers. The problem is that because it is a tool, once it's attached, you can't attach something like a choice band. So, it, it's got its kind of awkwardness. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a Cacnea as our reverse and a Reggie Rock as our regular rare with the Rock Peak Growl. Your Reggie Steals attacks to 10 more damage to each of your opponents, to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, I think there's stacks as well. So, if you have four of this on the bench, Registeel is going to be doing 40 more damage. Yeah. And Registeel's first attack is kind of like Oblivion Wing or Power Heater in that it attaches energy from the discard pile to your bench Pokemon. So you can use it to accelerate. Because you can amplify that damage, it's actually not, not a bad card. Let's just see if there's a way to make it work. Yeah, a bit of noise. We're recording actually in the shops. So that's a nice difference. Um, I actually wanted to ask you, obviously we've had a couple of months of a lower nine tails. Yeah. Um, and the currently with the GXs and that. Do you f think, obviously, GXs are always going to be relevant, yeah. but they are really all starting to look at their power levels and trying to balance that off with normal Pokemon? Well, well, I think they've, they've brought back the safeguard, um, both in the in the Baby Alone and Ninetales, yeah. which had that Aurora, Aurora Barrier, I think it was called. And now with, we've also got a um, Baby Hooper, mm -hmm. which is a dark type, which is a basic. It has a similar kind of safeguard ability, can't be attacked by EXs and GXs. So that forces most decks to play some kind of relevant damage output non-GX attacker. Yes. Which can be pretty awkward, especially when it comes to things like energy requirements. If you find something that really fits in with the deck, there aren't a lot of real high damage output basics either. So, you know, you're seeing a, a lot of decks trying to work around ways of dealing with it. Because I used to play the, obviously, low nine tails, yeah. one of the decks you helped me build. And obviously, GX has never stood a chance, but the Garbodor's was the, the, not the Garbodor, sorry, the, uh, the one that does damage equal to the amount of item cards in your brain. Yeah, the Garbodor. Oh, Garbodor. Yeah, yeah. That it. just wrecked me. So. Yeah, that would. So you've got to control your, your item count. And, and it's quite the variety yeah. that's there. So the Garbodor is still strong, and it might see some, some you know, some increase in play now. It dropped off for a while. The Jigglypuff, Execute, just because it just wasn't getting really kind of relevant damage output numbers, and people were able to work around the item count. Um, you know, Drampa could hit for 180, but 180 wasn't enough against most of the big beefy GXs. So it's an interesting time in the game. I think a lot of things are changing. We get a Lusamine, so this is the new supporter. Put two of any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your discard pile into your hand. 
which is so great. It is, but it is your supporter for turn. So it's not like a, a Via Seeker, which let you get supporters back, um, you know, and then you could play them. This would let you get it back for the next turn. And it does leave you open to maybe an end or something. Yeah, exactly. Else. Someone will end those out of your hand. So it doesn't necessarily help you. Um, we get a Hakamo'o, Chelos as our reverse, and we get a, Raichu, a Lolan Raichu as our hollow rare. You got the staff one, I think. Yeah, that's that right. That's nice. right. Very cool. I mean, it doesn't have the most relevant uh, attack. Psychic does 70 plus 20 more for each energy on your opponent's active Pokemon. So, you know, it's one of these uh, attacks that's powered by the amount of energy your opponent stacks up, but having a three energy requirement to hit that is really awkward. If it was yes. a double colorless, whole different story. Um, and then it's got Surge Surfer. If there's a stadium card in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Otherwise, it does have a two retreat cost and 110 HP. So, I'm not sure how relevant it'll be, but you never know. Maybe it'll see some kind of play in a combo Raichu style deck. Also, it's very much like the Tapo Coco, the one with the zero cost retreat. If you know you are only playing mini stadiums, you know yeah. it's guaranteed free retreat. But then the Coco has an infinitely better attack for yes, double colors. Absolutely, absolutely. So you would execute Magikarp, um, Chino, flip coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed, and it does 10, so it can be cool. In a pre release, Shellos, another Lusamine, Saravia, Kakuna. This is an interesting card. Um, you know, it's kind of like the maybe the new Greninja in theory, right? So it's got multiply. Search your deck for up to three Kakuna and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. It's another search like, mechanic. It's like it's yeah. the same as water duplicates, right? Um, and you need a Weedle. There is a decent Weedle as well in uh, Evolutions, I think it was, uh, which is actually a reprint of base set. And then you can get the Beedrill out into play. And there are two decent Beedrills yeah. as well. So. This is a card that could see some play. Uh, we get a reverse Kakuna. Especially with Ray Candy. because it's still Yeah, you can still play it. So I think up. it's definitely kind of yeah. like a, a, a Greninja style deck. Yes. And then we get another Gyarados GX. This is the regular art. So we have two Gyarados GXs, one full art and one regular art. Quite pretty, actually, I think. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I like the full art. I think yeah. they've started to bring more detail into the full art. I must admit that Magikarp was always one of my favorite Pokemon because it just did nothing. Yeah, Flail. It's got that attack. Flail. That double flip, and if any of them are tails, ignore the attack. Magikarp used Flail. Um, it's definitely... Um, I mean, Gyarados was, it, it had, had its time in the, in the limelight recently yeah. when it was played from the Prim Primal Clash. I think it was Primal Clash or Ancient Origins. Yes. It was Ancient Origins, which had a, um, a uh, Delta Ancient Trait, I think it was. But pretty good, double colorless attack, did some significant damage output. That's rotated now. So people will always look for ways to make Gyarados work. It is a popular Pokemon. We get a Feebas, Salandit, Cubone, Weedle, Minchino, Excelgore, Psychic Memory again, Staravia, Stuffle Reverse, and a Staraptor as our regular rare. So, so far, we got out of six packs, we got two GXs and a couple of hollow rares, which isn't actually bad, yeah. um, I must say. Full rates two in six isn't too shabby. And we should you pulling, we have to discuss. Exactly. I, I mean, if we get anything out of a box, it's uh, it's just, you know, it's well, magic. Ho hopefully, we get some gold cards. That's, 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 that's what always you makes want. me excited. Anything golden is worthwhile. And we got at the pre release, uh, we did get some pretty cool gold. Uh, cards pulled as well. I wanted to ask you: Are you considering on doing T-shirts for the, for the for the actual channel? Uh, I might. It depends how I get my subs up. I need to get a hundred subscribers. So what he's saying is, we need to get a hundred subscribers. So yeah. everyone, I need forty-eight more like, subs. Come on, guys! You must be able to sub. It's not that difficult. Come on. Plus, you get free giveaways. Minchina, which we'll we'll do. On are we the, doing a free giveaway? We are doing a free I giveaway. Love free giveaways. We are going to give some stuff away. Uh, one of them is in the back. I don't know if you can see it. There's a Mimikyu pin collection box, which is pretty cool. And it's the double one with the two Mimikyu. Yes, in that's right. It's one of those Pokemon packaging uh, faux pas. They put two of the promos in. Uh, in fact, I wonder if that type of Coco box up there doesn't have a double in it as well. No, it's just a, it's just uh, an just optical the angle. illusion. It's just the angle. A Swinub, a Swablu, a Fighting Memory. So this turns Sylvania into Fighting type. We have Counter Energy. This is an interesting card. So it provides one colorless energy. But if you are behind on prizes, then it provides two of any color energy. So it's like a double rainbow energy, but you've got to be behind on prizes. 
but that's so, not a bad thing, you know. Yeah, except if you're using this to get ahead on prizes, then it becomes pointless. So it's a, it's an interesting card. I can see myself using this in, for example, a deck that uses Shining Mew to accelerate two of these out of the out of the deck into onto your bench or onto your Pokemon. Then that Mew, which is only got 30 HP, gets knocked out. Then this counter energy suddenly comes into play. I can definitely see an uptick in the amount of people playing uh, enhanced hammers in their decks to deal with uh, the sort of increasing it's, amount of special energy. It's really energy. a comeback card. It's a, it's a yeah. card that you want to, you, when you're behind on the play, then you kind of want it and yeah. bring you up. It's got some some options. We've got a Hakamo'o and then a Korgeist as our regular ray with Confuse Ray. So, still two GXs and, uh, you know, I'm always looking for train accounts. I like to see a good... Uh, Good lot of trainer cards pulled in a set. Yeah. This set doesn't have that many relevant trainer cards, unfortunately. Um, but you know, there are one or two that are pretty good. Uh, we've got Carablast, Spoink, Solandit, Mankey, Cubone, Dashing Pouch, a Laron, a Kakuna again, Reverse Mancino, and we get a Wiggly Tough as our regular rare with Hypnoblast. 30 damage on your opponent's active is now asleep. Punishing Splash. Punishing slap. <laughs> if any of your opponent's Pokemon have any fairy, in it, no dark energy, then you do sixty more. So you're doing one twenty. If they have dark energy, it's attached. very situ situational. It's yeah, I think. Um, I mean, you, as a fairy type, you already resist uh, dark, mm -hmm. so it's interesting. I don't know if it will see play, but you never know. I do like Jigglypuff, so maybe one day we'll see something really playable in the. Has there actually Jiggly ever been Puff. a GX printed for Jigglypuff? No, there hasn't, sadly. No EX, no GX, no special love. Chelos, Remoraid, Mankey, uh, Jangmao, Carablast, Diggersby, Hakamao, Countercatcher. Like Counter Energy, this is a comeback card. So it's effectively a catcher, a Pokemon catcher, that has no coin flip, but as long as you are behind on prizes. Once again, questionable whether this card is going to be useful or not. Um, you know, this and counter energy, I don't know, we'll see. A reverse psychic memory and a crawdunt as our regular rare. So maybe this batch of six cards is six packs. Is we got three more to go. We yeah, and, and uh, go. I think we, you know, as long as we get like one thing in this, I think we are probably good. So let's see, maybe this is our one where we've got three more to go. Maybe the back three are the lucky three. So we get a Salandit, Starly, Skiddo. Pikachu, Lolan Geodude, a Mawile. This is pretty cool in uh, pre release. Or Colorless Energy, call for family, search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, put them into your bench. So, helps you get those basics out. Very XP. much like Beacon. Yeah, but it goes onto your bench, which is cool, so that you can't get end out of your hand. Fighting Memory, Kamo'o, and we get a Alolan Golem GX as our, our Hyper Rare. So, that's a regular art Golem GX, which has got Hammer in. For a lightning and double colorless, it does 80, and then for two lightning and a double colorless, it does 200 damage, and then it does 50 to itself, uh, which is kind of a common theme with a lot of lightning type Pokemon that damage themselves. Yes. And then Heavy Rock GX for 100, uh, which is two lightning and a double colorless. Your opponents can't play any cards from their hand during their next turn. So, uh, how's the focus? I'll make sure that's in, in the in line. Uh, I will have to push the camera to see. Should we do that? Yeah, let's take a look. Just to make sure. I don't want anyone to like be out and missing these wonderful art. Yeah, there it is. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I'll put it closer to the camera. Whoop. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, so we've got three GXs in how many packs? Um, that is actually uh, 10. Okay, so three and 10, not bad. Not bad. Our <laughs> rates are not horrible. Um, I think People have also been seeing mixed luck with the Shining Legends set. So we have a box later to open. Yes. We've got Skidoo, Skiddo, Starly, Namel, uh, what is this? Chim Chimecho. Chimecho? No, what was it? Chimeco. Bell of Silence. Maybe it's Chimeco. Your opponent can't play any Pokemon that has an ability from their hand during their next turn. Interesting. For 10 damage. Bunnelby. Mawile, Grumpig, Peking Red Card, your opponent reveals their hand. You may have your opponent count the cards in their hand, shuffle those cards into their deck, 
then draw that many cards. It's almost like an interesting end. You know? Yeah, where, where you get some insight into what's in their hand. So gives you that choice. You can either leave them with a bad hand or you can force them to shuffle a good hand away. So it's an interesting card. We get a, uh, a Magikarp Reverse, which has the ability Submerge. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. So that deals with this 30 HP, low HP Magikarp sitting there just waiting to be sniped out. Can't be. And then Waterfall Evolution. Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon. Put it onto this Pokemon and evolve it. Then Wonderful. shuffle your deck. So basically just gets you up and running. And then a Hound Doom as our regular rare. So the best thing about it, it literally fetches. Yeah, it fetches itself. There's usually these like ascension attacks. The only problem with that is it's it's got a pretty hefty energy requirement. A water and a double colorless to to go and fetch itself. That's interesting. That code card actually has a bend in it. So it's pretty interesting. The rest of the cards don't, but um, still interesting that they're packed with a bend. We get a Mistrevious, a Pikachu, a Chimeco, Magikarp, Vanelby, Grumpig, a Molga. A Molga gets a reprint, which is cool. Put three basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Countercatcher again, Houndor, and our rare, hollow rare is a Regice with the Iceberg Shield. If you have Regirock in play, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage. Done to this Pokemon by your opponent's stage two Pokemon. We had this very so, discussion yesterday how specific it is. Yeah, stage two hate, you know. So this is effectively deals with um, it doesn't actually, but it could help you deal with something like a God of War GX. But God of War tends to play Gallade, which hits pretty relevant numbers. So you know you're not really going to survive um, against a Gallade, um, and it doesn't have. Much relevant damage output, and he does 70 for a water and double colorless. So, once again, I think you know, if it was a colorless attack, maybe it would be more useful, but because it's got a color uh, energy type requirement in it, not as useful as you would think. I don't know if you noticed, but I found so funny that this card actually has a robot in the back. It's Team Rocket's robot Magic Clock. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's amazing. I didn't, I didn't know the show. It's <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cool artwork. Let's put it up so people yeah, can see. Uh, this is definitely one of the more interesting uh, Magic Arp artworks around. Um, and as with Magic Arps, it has that lightning weakness. So it's a water type with a different weakness set to normal. Um, we're into the last six from the right hand side of the box. So let's see what we get here. We get a Ghastly, Andor, Staryu, Dangamo, Shelmet, Laron, Graveler, Emolga. We get a Gorgeist as our reverse, and we get a Mammoth Swine as our regular rare, regular rare. Water on a double colorless does double stomp, flip two coins. Okay, so it's a coin flip, and then uh, two water on a double colorless, forceful tackle 90. Plus, you may put up to nine damage counters. You may put up to nine damage counters on this Pokemon. This attack does ten more damage for each damage counter you place in this way, wow. which is interesting. So you can do 180 if you do 90 to yourself, but it has a pretty hefty energy requirement. So we'll see. You know, we do have Aquapatch in the format, so there are ways to accelerate energy onto Water Pokemon. Um, another bent code card. So it's interesting that a lot of the code cards in this box are. Bent. Very interesting. They must have come off the production line like that. Swablu, Swinub, Jigglypuff, Houndor, Pikachu, Zuelius, Haunter, Chinchino, Pikachu Reverse, and a Reggie Steel. So this was that card I was talking about, the attack, Turbo Arm. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon, and it does 30 damage. So with the Reggie Rocks, four Reggie Rocks in play, you could be doing 70 and accelerating energy onto the bench. But because you have four Reggie Rock on the bench, yeah. what are you actually accelerating to? Yeah. So, you know, it's catch swing two. Yeah, we'll see how much play it really gets. I think it's you know maybe just like a cute league challenge deck or something. Um, but let's see. People will start thinking of creative ways to make this set work for them, and we'll see what comes out. We've got a Minchino, Execute, Jigglypuff, Houndor, Spoink, Mill Tank again. Chino, Gladian, which is another interesting supporter. Look at your face down prize cards and put one of them into your hand 
then shuffle this gladian into your remaining prize cards and put them back face down. If you didn't play this from your hand, it does nothing. So that is actually in there because there is a saber lie that's allowed to copy a supporter card that's in your opponent's discard pile. Oh wow. So that would mean you would effectively just take a prize card. Yeah. So that deals with that situation. Um, I can definitely see this maybe being played in decks that, uh, you know, have really important pieces in the puzzle, Super like Greninja right. or yeah. something like that, yeah. where you before you water duplicates, you play this, make sure there's no Frogadier in your prizes, and then you take that Frogadier out and carry on. So you could see play there a Shelmet and Altaria as our regular rare. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Almost halfway. Yeah. So we... Still just have the three GXs. Yeah, I get the feeling you're, you're not coming as good as well. Probably going to get four aside. We'll see. Maybe maybe we'll get surprised. Cacnea, Swinov, Mankey, Aaron, Corfish, Pillow Swine, Peking Red Card, Gastrodon, Excelgo Reverse, and a Camerupt. Regular Rare. Regular Rare. It's Fire and Double Colors. Continuous Headbutt 80 times. Flip a coin until you get Tails. This attack does 80 damage for each head. So it depends on how lucky you are. Or if you have a, a Victory Star Victini in play, which lets you flip again. As the, theoretically, if you're really good at coin flips, you have kind of like unlimited damage output. Pretty cool. Um, you know, could be fun. I think you could play that again as kind of like a league challenge or just a league fun deck. Uh, if you're not chasing points for the season, well, it's a white coat, might but... be something fun to play. Okay, so we get a Stuffle, Geodude. Cacnea, Mistrevious, Shelmet, Zuelius, Gastrodon, Sea of Nothingness. Ah. Special conditions are not removed when Pokemon evolve or devolve. Um, I actually played this down in the pre-release, and then it just backfired on me, and I couldn't evolve out of the conditions. So, um, you know, one of those weird stadiums that if you're playing a condition deck, yeah. really useful. Like um, the Poison deck you previously played. Yeah, yes. that's it. Definitely like in Poison, in poison Paralysis style decks, pretty cool and useful. Get a Houndor, and then we get a Melotic as our regular Hollow Rare. This is a, a water type Pokemon with the single water does TLC shuffle one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all cards attached to it into their deck. So, kind of like um, a Tapafini attack, but hitting onto the bench. Uh, so if your opponents, you know, maybe they've Kiawaid for the turn, put a whole bunch of energy on the bench, you could shuffle it back. Yeah. But because it's a stage one, it's not as useful as Feeny is. Um, so we'll see whether it sees any play. Maybe there's some creative ways of making it work. Um, so our last pack from the right-hand side, and hopefully we finish off with the right-hand side with a bang. Maybe something like Golden or Hyper Rare. So we get a Cacnea, Shelmet. Swablu, Swinab, Namor, Sea of Nothingness, Diggersby, Alolan Graveler, and Miltank Reverse, and we get an Agron as a Hollow Rare, with a kind of like weird, dull Hollow, um, which you see a lot on kind of fighting and metal type. Um, a stage two with a couple of random attacks that aren't, aren't amazing. So let's do our next six from the left hand side and hopefully we come back now yep this side is going to be good we're going to pull a whole bunch on this side of the box hopefully so yeah going to do i must just open the front of it and you can actually take unwrap it because your luck is it's rubbing off <laughs> yeah it's rubbing off <laughs> don't let me touch a booster pack it's bad luck Kamkabu, execute weedle shellos bunnelby ekamo haunter devoured field bunnelby and a miss magius regular rare um, so, this box is not giving us a lot of love, but being fair to the set, it doesn't have that many uh, really kind of rare GX cards um, as the previous sets have. Ghastly, Aaron, uh, Dino, Staryu, Pumpkaboo, Haunter, Fighting Memory, Kamo'o, Staravia, and Excavalier. Uh, this was one of those cards that was in pre-release kits. Uh, had some pretty good use. Um, let's see if some guys want to come into the shop. Give me a second. <laughs> I will carry on. Should I carry on? I'll carry on.
You can pause it and then come back. Okay, so we got ourselves a Weedle, a lot of Geodude, Aaron, Ghastly, Staryu, Saravia, Pillow Swine, Lusamine, Coco, Traverse, and a Beedrill. So this is the Beedrill that goes with that Kakuna. Uh, it has for single grass, Sudden Sting. If this Pokemon evolved from Kakuna during this turn, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned. None of those 10 damage. And that obviously goes well with the stadium. Yeah. That says, hey, well, you can't evolve out. out. There we go. But you do have to keep evolving up all the time to keep that effect. And you're only doing 10 damage, which isn't like super relevant because um, it is your attack. So, yeah, it's not an ability, which is unfortunate. If it was an ability, I think it would see a lot more play. But once again, you know, let's see what the creative deck builders out there can do. We have a Stuffle. Mecha, Mistrevious, Aeroblast, Swablu, Kakuna, Miltank, Psychic Memory, Oranguru uh, gets a reprint in the form of Psychic, Fixer of the Forest, put three Pokemon tool cards from your discard pile into your hand. Okay, and wow, that's cool. We get a gold, whoops, water energy. Gold water energy. Look yeah. at that. That is pretty cool. Okay, very nice. Got that carefully back there. That's pretty cool. That is beautiful. That's a good comeback. That's a beautiful card. Um, so that's one of the secret rares from the set. And strangely enough, those kind of things always maintain the value. Yeah. I mean, energy is energy, right? Yeah. You're always going to play it. Um, so it's not something that will ever rotate out. You can always just play water energy. Salandit, yeah. so Cubone, Weedle, Minchino, Corfish, Kakuna, Axelgor, Psychic Memory, Reverse Geodude and a Starmie as our regular rare. Escape is the ability once during your turn, you may shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. So that's a card that I'm sure we can come up with some creative ways of making it work. Um, yeah. There was a Lupani, I think, back in the day that had the same ability and it was like Bounce or something like that, the attack. And you could actually move damage from your own Pokemon to it and then bounce, bounce it back, back into your hand. So that was quite cool. So Landed, Pumpkaboo, Corfish, Starly, Skiddo, Agladian, Staravia, Axelgor, a Regigigas Reverse, uh, which is a rare, which has the ability Seal of Antiquity. This Pokemon can't attack unless Regirock, Regice, and Registeel are on your bench. So, crazy useless card, 180 HP basic with a 5 energy, um, energy requirement to do 160 damage. Uh, what were they thinking? It's a novelty. Mm -hmm. And then an Oranguru as our regular rare. So, we got that cool water energy in that batch of six, and we're on to our second last batch of six. So, so far with the set, what do you feel is the most prominent cards that actually will have the most A play and most effect in the actual format? I definitely think the Ultra Beasts are, are the chase cards. Yeah. Uh, Soul Valley maybe has some some use, and uh, we'll see if, if people can make it work. Um, the fact that it's not a stage one and that you have to evolve up into it makes it awkward and not as splashable as you would think. And the fact that you're going to be using tool cards to make it work, it's kind of weird, and we'll see whether it actually works. And what do you recommend are the cards that people should be holding on to for dear life and don't be trading away because it's going to actually change well, the face of the set? I think most of the GXs in this set are actually really pretty good, yeah. maybe apart from. There it is. Um, <laughs> but we have a couple of, of cards that have similar effects to cards we had in the past. Yes. So, for example, we have like an Edge Slash style uh, GX, which can't be attacked if your opponent's Pokemon has special energy attached to it. That's pretty cool. I can definitely see that being used in decks like Tapu Koko because it is a lightning type. Uh, so you can attack and you protect yourself from things like Gardevoir with a BCE or Double Colors energy on it. Uh, we have Psychic types with decent attacks and GXs that place energy back. Um, Prizes back on your opponent's side of the field. We have good fighting types. Yeah. We have uh, uh, like meme deck, dark type, where you discard cards. So we'll see. I mean, I definitely think that the Ultra Beasts and the GXs from the set are playable. Um, but they're not kind of standalone decks on their own. Uh, maybe apart from maybe one or two. I definitely think they're kind of cards that you would take into other decks. Support. Yeah, aspect. support type cards. But we'll see. Remoraid, Aaron, Staryu. Uh, Jangmo of Feebas, Fighting Memory, Dashing Couch, Laron, Dino, Beware is our reverse, I mean our hollow rare. We've got Fluffy, 
This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from the attacks of your opponent's non-fire type Pokemon. So, kind of like maybe a Volcanion story, but I don't see it. Well, I don't see it. So, I definitely think that, you know, out of all the kind of like cards in the deck, the one that, that collectors probably will be most interested in, ironically, is the Gyarados. Uh, just because it's, you know, it's such a favorite Pokemon for a lot of people. Um, plus, I do think that full art is beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's just take another look at this artwork. Because I think the full art stuff has started to become uh, significantly better than it used to be. Uh, in the beginning of the Sun and Moon series, the full art tended to be a bit flat to, for my liking. But I really like this, and I like the texture that they've got on the foil. That's beautiful. Um, it is a beautiful looking card. Okay, so we get a Remoraid, Mankey, Jungma, oh, Carablast, Feebas, Theron, Mawile, Dash and Pouch, Remoraid Reverse, and a Staraptor. So, where are we? Halfway through the second six from that side of the box. And uh, let's see what we can what we can do with this one. I don't want to give away the code card. <laughs> um, Okay, we've got a Houndor, Bunnelby, Shellos, Cubone, Feebas, Countercatcher, Mobile, Digger's Bee, Primeape, and a Gorgeist. Uh, cool, so let's see. Let's see what we can find. We need to pull, what, probably another three, yeah. I would say. Three to four. Oh, seven would be decent, I think, in the box. Get a Manchina, Corfish, Shellas, Dino, Geodude, Nolga, Grumpig, Usamine, Reverse Geodude, and a Silvalli GX regular art. So we do get our GX. I'll put that a bit closer. It has Gyro Unit. Your basic Pokemon in play have no retreat cost. And then it is 120 damage. Turbo Drive for three colorless. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So you can do 120 damage and you can accelerate energy, plus you take all retreat costs away from your basics. So definitely a pretty cool tech card, but because it's not a basic, it's gonna, I just, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. I'm still, I'm still undecided as to whether it's a good playable card or not. I'll give it a bit of testing as soon as I can get it online and see what we can do with it. Um, I see a bit of a glow there, okay? You do. I did. Could have just been uh, something reverse. Let's find out. Well, hopefully not. Pikachu. And what's that? Jamaica. Magikarp. Bunnelby. Shellos. Tinchino. Grumpig. Emolga. Hello, Swine. And there we get this. What is it? Uh, uh, I think it's called Nye Lego or Near Lego. Near Lego GX. Uh, this is one of those ones I will never remember how to pronounce. <laughs> so it is a psychic type with the ability Empty Light. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may leave both active Pokemon confused and poisoned. So yours and your opponent's. Um, then presumably you would retreat your active to try and remove that condition. Um, since confusion doesn't remove unless you retreat. Yeah. Three Psychic, lock up. The defending Pokemon can't retreat, so that stops him from re removing the special condition. It does 120 damage. And then uh, Symbiont GX. Add the top two cards of your opponent's deck to their prize cards. Which that's is terrible. That's crazy. Also for three psychic. So it's a basic, you know. Um, there's maybe a way to accelerate onto it. And there you'll see what I'm talking about. The Ultra Beast symbol at the top. This is our first beast? This is our first Ultra Beast. And definitely this card I think I could see myself using. Um, especially in that kind of Cosma, Coco... Barbador or spread deck that I've been playing with for a while. Um, that's definitely kind of like a one-off. I still believe that you should play a Ninja Boy in that deck uh, just to pull off those surprises like uh, Ninja Boying into that guy and... My only question is, is with the GXs, yeah. packs, it's such a question is, do you go for putting two more prize cards and it puts you ahead mm -hmm. significantly or do you wait to try and use a GX from another Pokemon? I think that's a, that's a pretty broken GX, yeah, especially think, since there are other uh, cards, other Ultra Beasts that attacks are powered by the amount of prizes on your opponent's side of yeah, the field. So but then they have a different energy requirement, yeah. so it's it's awkward. 
Um, but that one, that one's pretty cool. I think, and that's the significantly. It's three psychic, so it doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's very not, specific. It's, it's no so colorless. Hard. Yeah, you yeah. have to make sure that you actually are running all that. Yeah, your deck will have to be all psychic. And one eighty, you know, it's not a massive number. I think if it was two ten, be a different story. But one eighty feels a bit low on the HP side. The Mankey, Jangma O, Parablast, Dino, Chinchino, Graveler, Vard Field, Sea of Nothingness, Reverse, and a Houndoom, regular rare. And we're on to our last six packs. So we have got six, six Hyper Rare, one Secret Rare, and, and uh, one Full Art, and then three regular Hyper Rares. So uh, we've done all right. I was all Ultra Rares, I'd call them. Sorry. We've done all right out of the box. Um, let's see what these last six can do for us. We have a Salandit, Mankey, Cubone, Execute, Magikarp, Gastrodon, Zoelius, Haunter, Chinchino. And Miss Magius as our I think we regular need to do a bet here. Is there going to be one more GX or two more GX? I think we're going to get one more, to be honest. Okay. Okay. I think okay. seven is a go, good count. Before you go to like opening any more. Yeah. I, I would say one more. Okay, I'm going to go with two because I believe, you know. And two I'm willing, and four. I'm willing to bet uh, a GX Salazzle. Okay, all right, okay. What are you putting up for your bet? Uh, what am I putting up for my bet? What, what do I have that I don't need? <laughs> <laughs> Let's think. What TXs have I got? Uh, I actually don't have many things at the moment. Oh, you can owe box. me. I'll, let you, I'll let you owe me. I'll owe you something. Yeah, there you go. I'm definitely going for the one. Execute. Jigglypuff. Houndor. Spoink. It is, my, it is me here. You know? yeah. <laughs> Stavius. Swellius. Gastrodon. Peking red card. We get a Lowland Marowak as our reverse, which is actually pretty cool. It is a um, rare. And it has an energyless attack. Dance of Flames for each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Attach a fire energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So, uh, you know, whether this is better than something like uh, Turtonated GX's GX attack, I'm not sure. Um, especially since it's stage one. And then a Cold Under is already the way of rare. But let's see. So we've got four packs. Yeah, You're I saying we're going to get two out of two, four, eh? Two out of four. Our right. hit rate's going to be two out of four. I'm going to be believing you. All right. I, be I believe. You believe? I believe. I believe. I see a white card. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Let's do this. Let's do this. Some Mecha. Jigglypuff. Execute. Stuffle. Magikarp. Graveler. Color Swine. Pekin Red card. Execute. And we get another Richie oh, Gigas. So close. Hey, this guy. This Reggie Gigas. Come on, man. They just printed that because... Why not? Why yeah. not? Why not? People do like Reggie Gigas to collect. But I don't think it's ever really been a super playable oh, card. I gotta go get... I gotta get... Yeah, you gotta get... You, you gotta... You got two and two... One and two, you gotta hit you. I got two, two and two. Two and two. That's what I'm saying. Namel, Jamaica, Bunnelby, Carablast, Spoink, Hello Swine, another Counter Energy, another Mill Tank. Doing well on those. Ghastly <laughs> and a Cacturn. Hopefully Mewtwo is watching down on me and saying... That's it. Yeah, let's get you two, two for two, okay? Let's do this. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's not in your favor. It's not in my favor. Oh, man. <laughs> well, if, if there's nothing in that one, then you were wrong too. And That's then, true. Then, yeah. then it just all gets yeah. muted out. <laughs> Shelmet, Swablu, Swinab, Namo, Minchino, Hakama, or Sea of Nothingness, Diggers B, Type Null, so now at least we've got what our Sylvania evolves from. It's the yeah. first one. These are actually quite hard to find, ironically. Uh, and an artillery for our regular rare. So let's put this over here. With him. But actually, strangely enough, it's like we had the one family yeah. that literally pulled almost every I know, GX's, they got everything. And no one else got anything. It was like, what it's happened? It's crazy. In their, in their pre release kits, in their prizes, they just pulled crazy code, amounts of stuff. Code. They You're definitely gonna had win. the luck. I think I'm going to win. Let's You're see. You're going to win. What do you think? Or the, let's hope it's something. Minchino, Nummel, Swinup, Swablu, Spoink, Countercatcher, Akamo O, Diggersby, Aaron as a reverse, and Opa, Go Goat. Ah! Oh, rare. So we got seven out of the box. Uh, six. Oh, yeah, six out of the box. So not amazing pull rates, but you know, I think getting an Ultra Beast and a Silver Valley plus that beautiful energy card, yeah. uh, I don't think you've done too badly. Um, I'm just going to have a look at this energy card again. Yeah, and sleeve it before you get to grab the I think you should sleeve it. Let's get ourselves a top, like a top loader even, and pack it away. But it's, it's a thing of beauty, that, for sure. So that is the box opening. And uh, 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment down below. And just remember these cards will be available. You can order them from the store on release date. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll put the link up under the video as well as um, a list of the GXs that are in here. You guys have seen what's in the set and uh, get in touch with Dane and let him know. Place your order. Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys. Big shout out to our sponsors, The Battle Bunker.